What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And today we're gonna talk about what items it makes sense to start renting. So as you all know, I started my party rental business from the garage of my house and I've worked my way up to being in a warehouse. So I'm just in the front room of my warehouse right now and I wanna give you a little tidbit of information on how to grow. Uh, a lot of you have questions about, you know, what items to rent, blah, blah, blah. I have answers, let's get into it. Majority of my shop is made up of tents, tables, and chairs. So obviously, that is my most profitable rental item. I'll always be buying more tents, tables, and chairs. I know you want the cool stuff. You want the greenery arches but you have to start somewhere because a lot of the specialty items, they only go out three or four times a year. So you have to spend your hard earned money smart. I know what you want. You want the fun stuff. You want barrels. But realistically, barrels only made about $2,300 last year. And majority of the clients that were renting the barrels already had a tent rental with me. So that's why they got them from me. And barrels isn't like tents. It's not a gateway item. People rent the tents and then add the barrels. It's very seldom that people would rent the barrel and then get the tent as an add-on. I know you want video game chairs as well. But uh, other than the Christmas season, these bad boys kind of kind of sit. So, however, I plan to do some big setups that are really going to market them and push them out a little bit more. So if you want these items to move, then you got to push them. But the main items like tent tables and chairs, you don't even really have to push them. Just have your presence out there on Google and people will find you. So the game seats only made me about 300 bucks so far. They cost me about a thousand. So I'm minus 700. However, I know I'll make my money back on them. I could have spent that $1,000 and bought another pop-up tent, and that would have been out every weekend instead of the, uh, the six times that the game chair went out. So you see where I'm going here? Some items, it's just smarter to buy items that rent in bigger frequency and items that are gateway items to rent other items, hence pop-up tents. Oh shoot, now I need walls, now I need lights, now I need chairs, now I need tables. Uh, a racing game chair, it's like, now I need to go get snacks for the birthday party that I'm doing this. I don't run snacks. Do you rent snacks? So it all starts right here. This is a 10 by 20 pop-up tent because it's the most affordable option that you can do to get started. If you have some money, yeah, then you could start with bigger tents. But realistically speaking, you need a 10 by 20 pop-up tent. People love these, they pay big money for them, and it gives you gateway to get into tables and chairs and walls. And you, you work from the tents or you work from the chairs and the tables to the tents, but you don't work from the barrels to the chairs, then the tables, then the tents unless you're into not making money fast. Get it? Everyone loves numbers. So I'm gonna give you last year's numbers just to show you the frequency of some of the items that I rented last year. No one gives away their secrets except for maybe less than 10 guy and me. All right, so pop-up tents, let's go look at pop-up tents. So 10 by 20 heavy duty pop-up tents. Uh, last year I had seven of them in stock and I rented them out 75 times for a profit of $13,322.24. I'd say that's a good rental item. All right, let's look at some of the light duty tents. Okay, 10 by 20 steel professional pop-up tent. So a light duty tent, basically. I had three in stock last season and rented out 37 times for a total profit of $4,763.67. Bam! You know, and the funny thing is, is people are probably like, why are you divulging all your numbers? It's because people like to keep numbers secretive. But at the same time, I mean, in my city, the tent business is very seasonal and it's hard work. You have to clean those tents. You have to uh, replace uh, broken poles. Uh, there's a lot of maintenance that goes into pop-up tents. So 10 by 10 professional tents. I had 10 in stock last year and rented 69 times. $4,170.93. Okay, and think about this too. With all of those tents, majority of the time they went out with walls. So walls is a whole nother profit on top of it. Now they have the tent, they're like, oh crap, we need tables and we need chairs. 
we got you. And stakes, people need stakes, people need weights, everything added cost. It's things that you have to clean, you have to pack, you have to provide, so if they want it, they pay for it. Oh, you're gonna pay for it. Okay, so you see that back there? That's glassware, I just went and picked up some glassware. Glassware, start renting glassware even if you don't have it. And you can put the price high on your website as well. People will still book it. It's an inconvenience for you to get glassware, so make sure the price is high. And then when you sub rent it off somebody, it makes it worth your time. But more so, it makes it worth it because you're gonna get the bookings, because someone wants an all-stop shop. So if you have the tents and the tables and the chairs, well, you better offer the linens and the glassware and sub rent that stuff so that you can get those tent, table, and chair bookings. Because some people, they don't wanna do anything. And those are the people that you want because they're willing to pay you any amount just to get it done so that they don't have to think about it. So think about that. Oh, you're gonna pay for it. Oh, and one thing about back to tents and tables and chairs and pickup orders, well, people often, 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 often come without straps and without tarps. And I specifically send them an email beforehand saying, hey, you gotta bring these or we're gonna charge you for them. And so weekly, I make dollars just renting out ratchet straps and making people purchase tarps from me. And uh, it helps protect their gear and, uh, you know, gives a little bit of extra money on top. Um, their laziness is your dollar. Don't think that you're trying to screw them because you're helping yourself and you're helping them. Solve that problem by making a few extra bucks. Oh, you're gonna pay for it. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Oh, but I get all those tents. Now I need five crews of guys to put out so many tents. No. And that's the thing, you only have a certain amount of staff members, so you have to make sure you can only, uh, you can offer things that your staff can execute. Other than that, it has to be rentals that people pick up. So I recently started doing my canopy pole tents uh, for a pickup because, I mean, I just, I only have enough work to do, um, you know, my marquees every week with the amount of guys that I have. But if people are picking up tents and setting them up on their own, I can buy as many pickup tents as I want to make that extra money. Right, you hate tents, you hate tables, you hate chairs, you hate barrels, or probably don't hate barrels. You hate everything. Why are you watching my damn videos? Just kidding. Uh, the third option is one-off items. So this is great for a side hustle or just uh, expanding. Focus on that one item and then just pow, uh, You know, whenever anyone talks about that item, then you are the person that they talk about. I've tried to specialize in a few different items and it's been beneficial for me. So they make up a, a lot of money that I'm making as well. So if you wanted to get one of these and use it as your side hustle, you're working another job, then I highly recommend getting into photo booth so a photo booth is a self-sustaining business I mean uh, photo booths they also generate other items so you rent a photo booth well then all of a sudden they need a backdrop well all of a sudden they need props all of a sudden they need they might want a service with printing and you can go that whole route right I personally don't I like to keep my stuff like a rental company and uh, you know I rent everything separately and I make the customers pick it up blah 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 and uh, yeah it's awesome marquee letters is another one of those things that are just gonna because it stands out to people. People want to spell their names at an event or people want that Mr. and Mrs. sign. And if nobody offers that in your area, well, you got a serious advantage there. And I recommend getting right on that and renting these bad boys out all the time. Uh, you don't have to keep your prices low because uh, there's no competition, right? You set the price, you set the bar. And uh, so the marquee letters is an, a fantastic option for a business that sustains itself. So another cool thing about the light up marquee letters is it's pretty easy to advertise them. It's not like tents, tables, and chairs where people will come and like search you out, but the marquee letters is fantastic because uh, they stand out from everything else. So they look beautiful in the photos. So as, as soon as you put up a nice photo of something, it's just gonna draw the people in and there's gonna be many inquiries. Um, plus these items do very well um, on on every platform, you can post them on Instagram and you'll get bookings. You can post them on Facebook Marketplace or Classifieds and you'll get bookings. Uh, so the marquee letters are great for that. Um, if you post them online uh, on a website, then you won't have people trying to lowball you for them and you're gonna get lots of uh, corporate bookings for them. So it just, you know, depends how you make your play for uh, the light up marquee letters. Uh, popular ones, baby for baby showers, Mr. and Mrs. for weddings, Mr. and Mr. Mrs. and Mrs. blah, 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 blah. It's awesome. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, I want you to do me a favor and click that little bell icon because that bell icon is going to notify you when you see my videos coming in the future. And that's very important for me to get lots of views. So if you give me lots of views, it makes me want to make more videos. And as always, you stay classy. You know, it's been lonely working in this warehouse the last few months, but I think I've finally seen the light. Actually, just over here, I think I've seen the light. What is that? Is that the alphabet? Oh my gosh, let's go check it out. I'm Lee. I started a party rental business three years ago from the garage of my house. And I'm also a YouTuber, so I documented the process along the way. Now, I'm in a warehouse. I've built my way up through three years, but I also have marquee light-up letters that I build. To build them, I had to create the plans. So I had to make all the measurements and uh, make sure all the woodworking files, I had to take them to the CNC. I had to buy a CNC machine. I had to test them out. I had to do everything to make these letters. And then I thought, damn it, other people want to make these letters as well. So I put the plans up for sale. So now I have the plans for sale. You can go check them out. You can purchase them. I've even got a marketing package available so that you can learn how to sell these letters and make big money for minimal costs. We put all the costs into it, designing these. Me and Les, he's another YouTuber, this guy right here. First of all, safety glasses. Anyways, check out these files if you're interested. It's a super cool thing, and I think that you'll uh, uh, get a big benefit out of starting your light-up marquee letter business, like I did. And this is my shop.